Welcome back my children to another One Piece unofficial booster box opening. I will be opening what I'm going to be calling the One Piece Film Z booster box. So just like the other two unofficial One Piece booster boxes that I opened previously, the Strong World and the 101 version, the 101 whatever, I got them, I got all of these from AliExpress from um, after seeing another YouTuber opening the Wano ones and I ended up liking them a lot so I searched them up and I found a bunch of them and they all are different so I bought I think it was seven or six of them in total so yeah I bought different sets of course I already bought, uh, opened up the Wano one the um, Strong World and now this is going to be Film Z so it's been a while since I opened the previous one, the second one, a couple months, I believe. But anyways, so I really like the box. Obviously, this is the Film C one because of their outfits. And right here, it kind of says it. It just seems, say, says Film. And then there's like the Z in the back. It's kind of hard to tell, though. But yeah, there's the whole crew. Also, the box came out a little crushed. I'm assuming the, the pack should be okay though. This is the only box that came out this messed up. The other ones are perfectly fine. But as you guys can see, it's kind of crushed for some reason, but that's okay. I mean, it is an unofficial booster box. But yeah, there's the front. This is the right side with Luffy doing the uh, Red Hawk pistol. Then there's the crew. Which is kind of confusing. This is Film C, but this is um, the Film Gold outfits. So kind of confusing, but I guess maybe they combined several cards from both movies. Anyways, there's Ace and Luffy using a move from Ace, I guess. And there's the back. Very nice. I don't know the actual name of the booster box. But um, I'm giving it the name Film Z just because of the front, obviously. But yeah, I'm quite excited to see what's inside, how the cards look like. Because all the, even though they're unofficial, the cards are insanely good looking. I don't know if anybody plays them. I don't care. I just collect them. Actually, right here you can tell what rarities are inside. The other booster boxes doesn't really show them. This one C has the LR which I'm assuming stands for legendary rare. There's five of them. Then UR is I'm assuming ultra rare, which there's only five of, both of them. Then SSR, I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm assuming it's like super, super rare or super secret rare maybe. Same with the SR, either a secret or super rare, not quite sure. There's eight of the SSR and 12 of the SR. Then for the rares, there's only 30. I'm assuming that's what it means, rare. And then for N, there's 20, which I'm assuming means like non-common or something like that. Neutral, maybe. Kind of hard to tell. But most of the sets, the other booster boxes have like a bunch of cards. So I'm not sure if it's actually just 20 of the Ns and 30 of the Rs. Well, I guess I'm going to find out. Also, I don't know how many booster box I mean booster packs come in the booster box doesn't really say just like the other boxes maybe it does say but I, I can't read Japanese or whatever language this is I'm assuming it should be Japanese of course since one piece is Japanese but um yeah anyways whatever I'm gonna open it and I'm assuming it's gonna be like 36 packs most likely maybe less whatever i'll use my knife right here just to the top right here there we go all right that's good so let's see how it is but yeah i love one piece so i'm quite excited to see everything inside of course all right so let me see and have like this i'm assuming Oh wait, okay, on the top I guess. All right, 
it doesn't have a a way to open it though like like if you were to put them in in store or something like that you know what i mean but i guess not so i'll, I'll just take them all out all the all the booster packs that's it nothing else inside nothing nothing secretive all right i'll put the box back the way it was and i'll leave it like right there all right so actually i'm gonna quickly count some to see how many there are there's five ten and there's two okay so there's 24. first let me just quickly count five ten yeah there's 24. that's 20 and there's two so that's 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. so yeah so there's only 24 packs the previous one the strong world had um like i think 30 something 36 i'm assuming so yeah this is the boost the booster pack it says the same thing as the box i think it shows the dimensions of the cards and the barcode then this is the how the actual pack looks like it looks pretty nice there's are two here i'm not sure if that means like a second set or something like that or whatever so i'm gonna start with opening the packs okay I'm, i always try to save one of the packs okay never mind this one because even though they're unofficial i still want to collect the packs other than later maybe the next pack all right so the first card is a holographic i'm not sure if there's like a rare or one not it should say here somewhere the rarity oh, okay yeah so it's a rare and she's uh six seven stars perona time skip perona when she is able to levitate instead of walking and she has a little teddy bear and the ghost around her let's check the back I think it shows like her her um her stats and whatnot not sure what they each mean but it looks nice all right there's another holographic so i'm assuming there are like holographics and just the rarity so uh rob lucci before the time skip when he was still in cp9 and he's a seven star as well let's see that's the back for him all right then there's robin so this is uh i think around when she was in dress rosa pretty cute looking robin she's a seven star as well i think all the rare ones might be seven stars so far there she is and we have her former boss crocodile which i think it's from before the time skip and he's a seven star as well why are all the rare ones seven stars anyways oh he's the last one and there um there's his uh the back of him so there's only four cards per pack i thought it was gonna be five at least but whatever i guess next pack so far they're pretty cool i'm assuming there's gonna be for like the the more rare ones they're gonna be like different type of foil I'm trying to save a pack. I think it's gonna be tougher than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to keep this one nicely. Yeah, never mind. It's gonna it's not gonna work out properly the way I want it to. Alright. That's the back. Alright, so first is Jinbei. Pretty cool. He's a rare and this time he has eight stars instead of seven. Cool. Very nice. So Jim Bay, not sure if this is after the time skip or before it, but um, there's the back, all the stats. Right here in the front, it does show three of them. So I'm assuming this is like the def like defense attack and um, I don't know what that would be. Speed maybe I don't know. Anyways, then there's um. Oh, Nami. I, at first, I didn't recognize her because of this under her, at the top of her head. Is she supposed to be like in a one um, outfit? I don't think I recall this outfit. But anyway, she's a seven star like the others. 
pretty cool. It does look nice. I like the shine and on like the flowers on the outfit. Very, very nice. All right, let's see the back. There's her, the back of her. And wait, does this one only have three cards? Literally? I don't know. Okay, is this like a random, every pack randomly have a different amount of cards? So this one only had three. This one had four. I don't understand it. But anyways, there's uh, Frankie. And he's uh, seven stars as well. Super! And yeah, this uh, time skip Frankie, of course, after the time skip. And he's a rare. All of them are rare so far. So that's already four, five, six, seven, eight rares. So now I'm missing, what, like 12? How much was it for the rares? 30. So I'm missing 22 now. Oh, wow. Anyways, isn't the ants? supposed to be more common the ends not the rares whatever okay this one feels like it's literally like one card are you kidding me i was expecting every pack to have the same amount not just like decreasing every every pack yeah these packs are glued a lot so it's kind of hard to save it that's a lot of glue at least that's what I think they're using. Oh my goodness. I really don't want to mess up the pack. I just want to keep at least one for collection. To make it very, very hard. Yeah, whatever. Wow. It literally has one card. Okay, at least this this time it's a SR. Which I'm assuming is like a secret rare or super rare. I don't know. It's General Frankie. He has, um, let me see, nine stars. Very cool. I really don't understand these packs. Why do they have only one card? First is four, then three, now one. What's next? Like, is it going to be literally a, a empty pack? Oh my goodness. I mean, I guess it's something new. Like, instead of having a specific number, they have different numbers of cards inside. But regardless... It would be nice to get more cards than just one. But it's General Frankie, so not bad, I guess. And there's his stats. Right here. So very nice. It's pretty cool seeing General Frankie. And there's the back. Alright. So, so far, one SR. Let's go with the next pack. Okay, I'm gonna try my very best to not mess one up. Okay, I think I got it. I really hope I do. Oh great, there's like a little, this plastic getting stuck. My goodness, how do I do this without ripping the pack? Okay, there we go. And, okay, this is gonna be a little tough, taking them out. Damn it, whatever, forget it. I'll try it again. Ooh, who's that? That's Luffy, obviously. So, um, Bounce Man Luffy. Just had to put that away. Very nice. So, yeah, Bounce Man Luffy. He's um eight star, just like Jinbei. And it's another rare. All right, let's see the back for him. There it is. And now it's uh, Sanji, time skip Sanji. And he's using, uh, putting his leg on fire for his attack. And he also has eight stars. So I'm assuming the big three, Soro, Sanji, and Luffy have eight stars, including Jinbei. Very nice. And he's a rare as well. Let's see the back. Cool. And another Luffy. This time, normal Luffy, time skip Luffy. And again, he has eight stars. So I'm assuming uh, whenever there's just rare cards, it's um, four cards or three. And then the more better cards like SRs or SSRs and whatnot, URs, 
or potentially like one one card in the pack and whatnot i don't know i'll f find out in a bit so there's doflamingo my favorite villain in one piece for sure he has uh, eight stars like he he has pink color all over and um he pretty much has like a feminine look in a way but it works so well because he's so badass and evil that um you forget about how he dresses and it makes him look so cool like i've never seen nobody so more more badass than him even other villains that dress more villain villain like and he just goes with like a fabulous look and and perfects it but yeah there's the pack for him all right next pack let's see this one feels like it has like two or three i'm gonna play that game try to see if i could figure out how many cards are in the pack before i open it i wouldn't be surprised okay this is quite tough opening it nicely Damn it, I cannot take them out. Stupid plastic inside of it. Yeah, I already kind of messed it up, whatever. Ooh, okay, there's Ace. And he's a rare. I wonder how many rares there are. I mean, it does say 20, no wait, 30. Was it 20 or 30? Rares, uh, 30. But um, I don't know, since there's rares in every pack, I'm assuming there's like more than 30. That's why I'm saying it. And uh, Ace is a... Oh, he's not an 8 star, he's a 7 star. Weird. But there he is. There's the pack of him. Then uh, Dofi again. In like a Egyptian type of style. Very weird. Have they ever... Have I ever seen that artwork? I don't think I have. And this time he's a seven star as well. Uh, odd, but cool. Then Gecko Moria, another seven star. You would think they're all eight stars since they're like strong characters, but I guess not. He is a seven warlord of the sea, so he should have an eight star, but I guess not. Same with this Doflamingo. Anyways, that's it. Next pack. Okay, I'm literally filling like one or two cards this time. This one had three. Okay. Can I take it out? Damn it. There we go. Oh, great. I got messed up regardless because I pulled them out. Whatever. Yeah, two two cards. Let's see. So first is Law. When um I think this is his look when he was in Punk Hazard. Punk Hazard. And he's a eight star here. Very, very cool. He has the very long cloak. Oh wait, there's three cards. Never mind. I thought it was two. And yeah, there's the back of his card. Then there's Chopper with the sparkling eyes because he's excited for something. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Out of all, everybody else, he's an eight star. You would think he would be a seven star, but he's an eight star. Very unexpected, especially on his um, normal form. Pretty cute, a very cute card. All right, then there's Boa, Hammock. She's a uh, eight stars, as she should. A very nice sparkle, especially on her dress. And there. Very cool. So far, all of them are different. No, no, no duplicates so far. But yeah, they are all rares three six nine ten three six seven that's 17 already so out of it out of 30 
I need 13 more. That makes no sense. But I don't know. I'm just not gonna bother trying to save one of the packs anymore. It's kind of hard. Um, I think there's something good in the back. Anyways, first there's a kid before um, the time skip in Sabari Acarpelago arc. He has a uh, eight star. Very cool. There's the back. There's a uh, Rob Lucci with his pigeon. I love how the pigeon also basically matches his outfit. He has the jacket, the long jacket, and so does the pigeon. One of the best animals and one piece for sure. And yeah, this uh when Rob Lucci was in CP9. And he's an eight star, which I'm not surprised he is. Then there's Aruj. Uh he has eight stars as well. One of the supernovas, the um worst generation. Very cool. And there's the back. Another rare. Uh, and then Blackbeard. Cool. I like Blackbeard. And he has uh, eight stars as well. But yeah, uh, there's the back. And what is this? An SR. Luffy dressed up as Luchi. Luchi. How does Rebecca call him? Lucy, never mind. I'm thinking about Rob Lucci, but no, Lucy. But of course, without the mustache, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, um, this one when, uh, when he fights Doflamingo, and he's a uh, nine star. I wonder if there's like ten stars, eleven stars, twelve stars, or what, or whatnot. But very, very nice card. And there's his back, the back of the card. So so far, two SRs. There's uh, Luffy and General Frankie. All right, next pack. I'm just gonna not bother with the pack anymore. So first card is Dofi, Dofi Mingo, once again. Is this the same card as the other one? I kind of forgot. It looks a little different. Oh, okay, it's the same one. So now since I'm getting most of the rare ones, I'm getting duplicates. There's a Dofi, Sanji again. Luffy, see what I mean? And Jinbei. Whoa! Wait, oh, okay, never mind. I saw a different type of sparkle. I thought it was like a much... Like the secret rare type of sparkle. But a, it's a SR as well. Anyways. There's a Robin. Which is looking good. And um, this is from, I think, one of the cover arts from the manga. Because obviously this never came out in the anime. Unless it, maybe it was that filler arc. I mean, not filler arc. That filler episode. I kind of don't remember. Or was this an actual movie? I can't, yeah, I don't remember. But there's a ice cream like... What you call Decals in the card. From the shine. It's very nice. So yeah, super rare Robin. And she's a uh, nine star here. That's a very nice picture. And there's the back. I like how all the cards in the back have um, the going Mary, which you would think they would have different ship, ships. See the going Mary right there, going Mary, going Mary. Like you would think that some of them would have the ship of the the pirate and whatnot. Like she should have her own ship. His own ship here. Rob Lucci maybe like a marine ship. But they all have the going Mary. But whatever. I mean I guess they didn't bother to put detail into that. Okay. Back. There's Rob Lucci again. With the pigeon and the coats. A 8 star. The same cards. Law, Chopper, and Hammock again. Alright, so it seems like there's a bunch of duplicates now. Unless I start getting the ends. Where are they? The ends. Which I don't understand. Why mention the end, which should be the most common, but they're not here. 
Oh, there's a new card, Marco. He's a seven star. There we go, cool. Oh, and Shanks with one arm. And he's also a seven star. Probably because he only has one arm. Uh, if, if he had two arms, it, he would probab probably be two, I mean, eight stars. Anyways, oh, a different picture of Boa Hammock. Hammock. Very nice. Just like the little, um, what's these things called? The, like celebrities use? I don't know what they're called. But there's the back. Oh, it's a it's a that coat thing that has this thing, this like furry thing for the hood. I thought it was it, it was alone, but it seems like she has the coat right here that's uh, attached to the furry thing here. Anyways, there's Boa. Oh, and there's um, this is from Film Z, right? His outfit, Chopper's outfit with the. The crown or is this from uh strong world i don't remember i think it's a strong world version very very nice i like this picture of chopper a lot very nice artwork his the little axe on his hat chimes chimes and he's a seven star you would think that would be a eight star then there's Usopp before the time skip surprised I'm surprised to see a straw hat from before the time skip but yeah he has the the hammer that is a uh, one ton so you know he's strong and the last card oh the first SSR which I'm assuming is super secret rare potentially oh I love this skull decal on the card and then the music notes as well but it's um soul king brook that's insane it's badass and it has a different shine a different texture and it has the, the little decals right here and it actually has texture yes and the stars too i love how the stars are blue and he's a 10 star there's a that answers my question to if there was 10 stars and whatnot now i want to see if there's like 11 or 12 or 13 and whatnot that looks so cool and then there's like a japanese text not sure what it says there's another one right here does it show it on the other ones because they have the gun as well yeah it does but this one is not texture this one is you can feel it that's so nice this is what i'm talking about they're unofficial uh, one piece trading cards but they put such good work into them there's the back i love this card it looks so nice brook is such a unique looking character in one piece especially being in the straw hats all right next pack Oh, who's that? Zoro. Very cool. Is this also from like um, a, a, a whatchamacallit? A cover art from One Piece? Not sure, but he has glasses. It could be from when he dressed up for Dress Rosa, but I'm not quite sure. Doesn't look like it. Anyways, he has uh, seven stars. There's a back, a different ace who has uh, seven stars as well. Pretty cool. And then, oh, I thought that was Sabo, but it's Brooke once again. This time the rare version with a very nice shine regardless. And he's a seven stars too. So it seems like every, most, uh, most packs have the, like the same cards together so far that's what i've noticed because these are all different rares but yeah anyways not quite sure if i have all the rares already or not but we'll see right there's another oh wait that's not new 
That's uh, Nami. Already got her. Then, uh, oh, this is a different chopper. This is for sure. Yeah, this is the uh, Film Z chopper. Wait, let me check quickly with the box. Where's he? Oh, there he is. Yep, Film Z chopper. And it's actually the same, the actually same artwork as the box. So I for sure haven't gotten the other straw hats and the Film C artwork. Then the other one was from Strong World, the one with the crown for sure. That for sure was from Strong World. Then there's our Frankie. Very cool. Okay, next pack. All right. So Jinbei again, a bunch of duplicates now. There's um, the same two characters. Oh wow, the same chopper. That the same three cards I just got are right here with Jinbei included. Yeah, so far it's been four cards, three or one in each pack. I don't remember if I've gotten only two cards in, in one pack. I'm not quite sure. There's a uh, Dolphy again. Sanji, uh, Bounceman Luffy, and uh, Time Skip Luffy, which they're both the same Luffy's obviously, but you know, different forms, same cards. Okay, so I, my question is, what happened to the ends? Where are they? They're supposed to be the most common ones. It makes no sense. Why even include that letter in the rarities? Anyways, there's a law again, chopper with sparkling eyes, um, hammock, oh, it's a different Luffy, a super rare Luffy, doing the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the flame, wait, um, yeah, the flame fist, pistol, what did I call it, the fire fire, no, 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 oh, the, um, the fire, um firehawk yeah firehawk pistol attack i always get confused with these different attacks anyways there it is the firehawk i believe it's called i kind of forgot but yeah he's a nine star and he's a either a super rare or a secret rare i would say it should be a super rare but i'm not sure and there's the back. So very nice. I like how his teeth are sh shining. But they, instead of looking white, when they shine, they look yellowish. Yeah, yellowy. Anyways, do they have the texture? No, it doesn't have the texture. It seems like only the, the, the super, super rare, the super secret rare has the texture. I wonder how the URs look like. The, yeah, or in the LRs, which should be legendary rare. I would like to get at least one of each. That would be great, just to see how they look like. All right, there's a Kid, Rob Lucci again, Rouge, and Blackbeard. Nothing different. And next pack. So far, it seems like the ends are one of the rare ones for some reason. There's um, Rob Luchy again, Robin, um, Crocodile. Ooh, oh, there we go. There's a UR, an ultra rare, I would assume. And the gold has texture. Very, very nice. Just like Brooke, the gold on the card has texture. Very, very nice. That's, uh, Uz I mean, Sanji. I almost called him Usopp by mistake, but Sanji. Very cool. So the first ultra rare. That's what I'm going to call it. I don't care if it's a different name. It could be ultimate rare now that I think about it. But uh, I'll go with ultra rare because that's what the, the, the rarity that it usually is for trading cards and whatnot. But yeah. It looks very very nice so now i need an lr and i definitely want to get an n to see if they exist because if not i already got an ur 
if I don't get an N anytime soon, that means they're they're more rare than you are. So that's kind of weird. All right, next is uh, Bounceman Luffy again, then Crocodile and Kid. All right, there's like a bunch of duplicates now since I got all of the all of the rares. There's a Perona once again, Rob Lucci, Robin. Ooh, a different card, and SR. Um, at first I thought it was um, Robin, but no, that's a uh, Violet. What's that her name? Violet, I believe, from Dress Rosa, the sister of Rebecca. Or is she different? Is that Robin or is that Hammock? Hammock. I'm kind of confused. They're looking, they look, they literally are looking similar to me right now. Is that Robin? It generally doesn't look like her, but I mean, it looks like her, but at the same time, it doesn't look like her. Is that Robin? Because the way her hair is right here look, gives her more of a Spanish look. So that's why I'm thinking it's Violet. But at the same time, it also kind of looks like a uh, hammock. Boa hammock. Luffy's uh, future wife. So I'm kind of confused who this could be. Unless it shows the name and it actually doesn't show the name. Let me see. Uh, yeah, that doesn't confirm anything in the back. At first I thought it was a snake, and I was gonna say, oh, it's a hammock, but it's not. Who the heck is this? I would say it's either Robin or Violet. I'm a little confused. They just look pretty similar, and I like the hair is the one that's confusing me the most. Like I said, it looks like a Spanish type of hair. Crush Rosa is uh, basically a Spanish country, so yeah. Anyways, it does look very, very nice, but I'm kind of, I don't remember. I can't, I'm kind of confused into if it, this is either Violet, Robin, or Hammock. What the heck is that? And it doesn't show the name. Like if, if it showed the, the name, I could compare it to the the name on the card in the back, but it isn't. It has these letters at the top, let me see. Oh, that's Robin, where's Robin? There she is. Okay, I think it is Robin then, because it has the same letters, I'm assuming that's the name. Okay, I'm gonna figure, figure this out right now. Where's Hammock? And where's, um, oh, I don't have Violet, so never mind. There she is. Let's see, is it different letters or? Okay, so it is Robin. So this is Robin. But she really looks a lot different here. Obviously you could tell certain parts of her are the same. But um, yeah, I don't normally see this artwork. I think I might've seen it once, but I just don't remember it. So it really got me confused on who it was generally looks like violet a lot but whatever there it is that was the pack <laughs> it literally took me a long while on that one pack just because of that anyways now to finally continue there's a uh, usab dofi again with the egyptian look ace and moria all duplicates Next pack. Ooh. Starting off with Shanks. Okay. Then there's um Boa once again and Strong Roll Chopper. One of my favorite chopper uh, artworks. Looks very very nice. Okay, next pack. There's very few packs left already. Uh, this is, who is the, what Sora is this from? I know for sure it's not Strong World Sora because it doesn't, that's obviously not the same artwork he has right here. You can see him right here. He has the cloak, he doesn't have the cloak here. So this is a different Sora, just not sure from where. 
Jarvis Brook there, uh, Ace, Markles, and ooh, a different card. This is an SR, another super rare or secret rare, whatever it is. And it's Jimbei. And he's a nine star here. Very, very cool. I think this might be when they're when they're um breaking out of Impel Down. Not quite sure. But yeah, looks very, very nice. Alright. So two two more, more two more packs left. Now I don't know if you guys can tell. There's a little more curved than this one. No wait. Actually, never mind. They're actually the same. I feel them right now. They are both curved. I think that's how all the packs were. I just never really bothered to to feel them till now. The last two packs. Anyways, it's again running away from the pumpkins that are not moving. Then uh, Dolphy, Egyptian Dolphy, Moria, and Perona. So I'm assuming the N rarity is very rare because I did not get any of them. I got R, my, most of the cards are R, then SR, SS, one of the SSR, one of the URs, and like four of the SRs. The one I'm missing is LR and N, and N should has 20. So it should be one of the most common, but it's not. But I'm assuming it's one of the most rare, potentially. I have no idea. But there's Sorrow again. Brooke. Ace. And Marco Polo. And oops. That is it. That's all the cards. Um, I think out of the other two booster ba boxes. Not packs. The two booster boxes. The other ones. The Strong World. And the Wano booster boxes. I think this is my least favorite so far, but I still love them, of course. There's One Piece, and they're great. Especially this brook. Very, very nice. But yeah, um, I don't I don't know what the situation with the packs were. I literally, I started with four cards in one pack, then it was three, then literally one. That was only one pack, though. One pack had one card inside for some reason. And yeah, then it was random. It was like four cards, three cards, and whatnot. But I don't, I don't know why. But yeah, I guess that's what happens when you buy an unofficial booster box of One Piece. But I still like the artwork of the box. I will be getting another one whenever I do. Not yet at the moment. But yeah, they're unofficial. But like I said, there's still great artwork and everything. And from the box, I'm still very confused on to what happened to the M's. I got all the R's. I'm for sure I completed all the the rares. I must have all of them for sure. All, um, what was it, 30 of them? Yeah, all 30 of them, I know for sure I got. I had to, had to got all of the R's by now. The N's, I really don't know was what the N means, maybe it means non-existent, I don't know, maybe, but um, yeah, there, it says 20 of them, but I didn't get not even one, so I don't know if it's very, very rare, and then for the LRs, those must be the most rare, in my opinion, but it seems like the Ns are very rare as well, but at least I got one of the, one of each of the others, well, like four of the SRs, one SSR, and one UR. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty cool cards. Um, if you guys want to get the same booster box or check out the other booster boxes, I do have the link in the description to um, find the the booster boxes and whatnot. This one is Filmsy. You don't really search them up by name or anything. You just go to a, a buyer who has the boxes and they have multiple of different One Piece unofficial boxes. So I bought all the ones I got, which was like six or seven of them from one specific buyer, just because they're random. I just chose that, the booster boxes he, he had and whatnot. And yeah, so I got six or seven of them, I don't remember. One of them was the 101, 
than Strong World and now films Z. The other ones you guys will have to watch to find out what other boxes I bought from him. But yeah, anyways, that is pretty much it. But I do recommend them, even though they're unofficial. One Piece now has an official trading card game. And I did buy a booster box. I don't know when I'm going to open it. But um, they are pretty expensive, though. And uh, I th I've seen that there's other booster boxes. I just cannot buy all of them. There's so much money. But at some point, I hope to get more of them. But yeah, whatever. Anyways, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next One Piece unofficial booster box opening. Welcome back, my children, to another Garfield 2023 calendar segment. It's the segment where I continue with the comic strip from the day I left off. So the previous day was the 28th of January. That's where that was my last video with my hands in the in the video. So yeah, anyways, um, it counts as the 29th as well. So anyways, January 29th on a Sunday. I slept, then I ate. So how was your day? And he's very happy that that's the only thing he did. Because that's why normally cats do just sleep and eat. And of course he's talking to his little teddy bear pokey. Anyways. So yeah, I showed it, showed it on the last video. But obviously I had to do it for today as well. Anyways, January 30th on a Monday. Would you like to fetch the stick, Garfield? And he's looking at him. Apparently not. And <laughs> John is disappointed. Of course, he doesn't go fetch it because he's not a dog. He's a cat. All right. January 31st on a Tuesday. Garfield, why is the kitchen filled with mice? Then a little mouse with a big hat and with horns passes by. John's reaction, his huge eyes wide open. That is funny. Looks like they're having a lunch meeting. And <laughs> he's disappointed again. I love the little mouse. I, lo I love when they make uh, the, the, um, whatchamacallit, to draw the, the mouse with a big little foot like that, walking by. And just like, it just, nor it looks like it's normal. And he's just, John's surprised eyes. And Garfield's like, I don't care. It's gonna happen. All right. Now for today's date, February 1st on a Wednesday. Is this the last chip? You saved me the last chip? Yup. He's eating it. Munch, munch, mun. It's still. Duh. Because it was the last chip. And he just left it there, I'm assuming. Very funny. And that is it. So I will continue on the next video on the 2nd of February. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.